Hey there everyone and welcome back to Real Living and welcome if you're new. My name's Ashley and this week's video is packed full of deep cleaning motivation. I got a ton of stuff done. I also was able to get all of the Halloween decorations down as well. So come along with me and let's get motivated and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> So we're starting this whole thing off by getting all of the Halloween decorations down and the first things that I wanted to get clean was take down my curtain and get it in the washer and then also clean the fan because it has definitely been a minute since I cleaned the fan. Usually the fans are on pretty much 24-7. They rarely ever get turned off. So when they do finally get turned off, I realize just how bad they got and honestly, it's definitely my fault. But I wanted to get that done first and foremost before I started on all of the decorations, taking everything down, putting it all in their boxes and just getting the house kind of back to normal before all of the chaos of Christmas decorating comes in. So I wanted to get everything picked up, taken down, and the only thing that I really got cleaned on this day was getting the um, curtains washed and also the fan. Other than that, I just kind of stuck with just getting all of the decorations down and ready to get put away so that it was a lot easier without all of the decorations being in the way to be able to get all of the really deep cleaning stuff done.
So the following day was when I was able to really get into the living room and get everything really, really cleaned. I wanted to give a really good deep clean to everything and everything really needed to be dusted. To be honest with the things that have been going on for the past week or so, um, after Halloween we had the election and there was just a whole bunch of stuff in between. So my house honestly did get neglected pretty much the whole time. So I wanted to take my time and just get as much cleaned as possible. Starting with all of the dusting, getting all of the stuff on the walls wiped down really good. Starting top to bottom and just getting it all cleaned and making it easier for all of the dust just to kind of settle. 
and then move to the lower shelves and all of that and get everything done. But there was definitely a lot to do and it took me a while. But I am so happy that I was finally able to get in here and just kind of get my hands really dirty. Get in here, take everything off of the shelves, wipe everything down and just get my house back to normal. All the time doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Mm -hmm. I don't fit into your bars. Beauty queens without no blush. You can do better. I dare you to be wilder. I don't fit into your bars. Beauty queens without no flaws. You can do better. Silly baby dancing night away I'll kick my shoes up if I want Let yourself be free and maybe you will find That there is more to life than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks I really wanted to take the time and pull everything off of each shelf and wipe everything down and get the shelves clean before I put it back. It has definitely been a minute since I did that with the DVDs. Usually I'll just run my rag across the very top of the DVDs and then clean the shelf that's right in front of them. And I don't really put too much into it. But this time I just wanted to get everything off the shelves. That way I could also wash the wall on the behind everything and just get the entire thing as clean as possible. And I also did that with the fireplace area as well, taking everything off the shelves, wiping it all down, getting it all dust free, and then wipe the shelf and then just put it all back nice and neat. Like you can't do better. So much better.
Once I was done with everything on the shelves, I moved on to putting the last couple of things from the living room into the suitcase. And I did move the suitcase out onto the porch because I did have a few decorations left out there. And I just figured it'd be easier to keep everything together. So I put that out on the porch and then I got to work on vacuuming the couch. You will notice on the couch that we have wood boards underneath the cushions that I removed so that I could uh, give everything a nice good vacuum. But we put those there because I do not have the funds to be able to just go out and buy a new couch. And this couch has definitely seen its better days and it is not the most comfortable thing. So what we decided to do was put some wood underneath the cushions to kind of give it a little bit more firmness and to just kind of help it stay together a little bit better. And it helps because these old couches, they lose their firmness, they lose the structure, and this is definitely a very old couch. So we needed to put something in there just to kind of help us because it's not very comfortable, but we don't have the funds to get another one. This is a hand-me-down couch, so it is definitely, um, we appreciate it and we are lucky to have it because obviously we can't afford a new one. So I don't necessarily not like it. It's just I would like to have a more comfortable couch. So in the meantime, we just try to do things to make it fit what we want instead of going out and buying anything or anything like that. We'll just use what we have around the house. We had some wood around the house, so we just used that to uh, give it a little bit more structure and a little bit more stability on the bottom. Once I got the furniture vacuumed and all cleaned and put back together, I ended up moving the chair out of the way and getting the table cleaned up so that I can kind of scooch it out of the way as well. That way I can give the entire carpet a really good uh, vacuum and nothing would really be in the way. So I wanted to move that stuff out of the way, get it nice and vacuumed so that I could roll it up and get underneath of it cleaned as well because the floors have definitely needed to be vacuumed for a good little bit but i wanted to get the rug out of the way so that i can make sure to get all of that dirt that was underneath the rug and get everything vacuumed and mopped really well and i just wanted to have everything cleaned as much as possible it is a little bit more difficult for me to move the couch and the pieces of couch uh, by myself. So I did not move those, but I did the best that I could just being by myself. So I just moved the chair out of the way and uh, the table and then rolled the rug up as much as I could and just worked with what I could on that. I 
Another broken plate Another called off date We never seem to get it right Another heart attack Words that we can't take back We are the reason opposites attract Once you slam the door on the second floor I regret it all When I think it through I can help the way I feel for you Make me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right Stuck in a endless fight like every night It still feels right Even the words can sting I wouldn't change a thing Cause without you everything is Yours. Baby, let's talk until we're fine You've been in bed for days Empty without me, you say Can't you just magically turn up in mine? Then you knock on my door on the second floor And I feel okay We just made it through And I love the way I feel for you Me lose my mind like all the time It still feels right mm -hmm. in an endless fight like Once I was finished in the living room I moved into the hallway And there was definitely a few things that I needed to do I wanted to dust off the top of the cabinet And the uh, chair moldings on the wall As well as the door Get the mirror cleaned as well And a couple of things that were in the hallway I ended up leaving the radio in the hallway. Um, we do need to put it in the storage, but we just haven't done it yet. And it is still out of the way for the most part, so I wasn't really too worried about it. But the hallway floors definitely really needed a good vacuum. Um, there was definitely a lot of buildup of dog hair. And so I just gave it a good vacuum and then I went back around with the vacuum to get all of the little edges and the corners and then gave it a really good mop. The hallway is usually the fastest little space that I can get done just because of how small it is. But it is also a space that tends to get, I would say, the dirtiest when it comes to the floors just because of how small it is. It's a lot easier for it to build up faster because it doesn't really have much to much space to blow around and kind of spread out. So it ends up staying in the corners and stuff like that. So I needed to make sure to get all of that vacuumed up and then give it a really good mop. Every night it still feels right. Even the worst can stay. I wouldn't change a thing cuz without you everything is not
so this week I actually have a really good dinner idea for you guys. It is a super easy, lazy night dinner when you don't feel like doing anything and it's also very cost effective. It is just Spam that I chopped up and got nice and golden and kind of crunchy. And I made um, just some regular box of mac and cheese according to the package instructions. I did add a little bit of extra shred shredded cheese just to make it a little bit cheesier. The kids love that. And then um, I also made up some broccoli, just some steamed broccoli that I was able to heat up in the microwave. And then put everything into the mac and cheese and just mix it up. It is definitely a winner for the kids. It's a winner for your wallet. And it's a winner for when you really don't feel like cooking. It took me less than 30 minutes to get all of this done. And it was just a really good, lazy night, kid-friendly dinner. And it definitely helped that it was pretty cheap. And then finally moving on to the porch area and this was probably the worst area that I had to get done. You can tell by the carpet that it just has been a little bit since I was out here. This room takes the most to motivate me to get it clean because it is a screened in room. We live in Florida. It is still hot and it's just crazy and I wanted to get out here. It was super humid but I wanted to get out here and get it cleaned. And I started with getting all the Halloween decorations down and then I wanted to give everything a good dusting. Once I got done with the dusting of everything, I went ahead and started vacuuming this little love seat couch thing that's out here on the porch. And it's basically the same process as inside, just vacuuming the cushions and the sides, taking the piece of wood off and vacuuming underneath and then putting it back together. Once I got done with that, I went ahead and put the couch back, like I said, and the next thing that I did was got rid of this ottoman on the side where the dogs like to lay. This is Rocky's ottoman. This is, he loves this thing. And we have had it for a very, very long time. It was my father-in-law's and it was for his dog before Rocky. And so it has definitely seen better days. It had some holes in it when we uh, pulled it out of storage. 
and we let Rocky have it as his dog bed. And if anybody has a pit bull, they understand the nesting where the dogs will dig into their bed to make it fluffy and comfortable. Well, unfortunately, Rocky has done that so many times that it ripped it and just tore it apart. So it was time for it to go. So we decided to get it off of the porch and replace it with just a regular dog bed. And so I did that and I was able to get it out of the porch and start vacuuming on the rug and then rolling the rug up and getting it out of the way so that I could go ahead and vacuum the rest of the floor. Once everything was vacuumed and cleaned, I went ahead and just started putting everything back where it goes, the rug on the floor, putting the sheets on the couch, putting the dog bed out there, and just getting it back to where it was. So it is definitely a lot more plain. It looks very, very empty without all of my decorations, and it is definitely refreshing. It is probably going to stay like this for the next two weeks. I'm not going to be bringing out any of my normal knickknacks and I'm not going to be using any decorations or anything like that. Um, in about two weeks around my birthday-ish, I'm going to start with the Christmas decorating. It is definitely what I'm most excited about. Uh, we do not host Thanksgiving, so I do tend to start decorating for Christmas early. I just, it's my favorite time of year. I love Christmas. I love all the colors. I just love everything about it. So the next couple of weeks, we will definitely be getting into that. This weekend, we are planning on doing some rearranging, moving things around, probably a fish tank or two, and we are going to film some of it, if not all of it, um, and that will be in next week's video. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. There was so much that I was able to get done. I am definitely very proud of myself. It was a lot of hard work, but so, so worth it. So drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you all next week.